Hello and welcome to a brief tutorial on SpiderSite's website monitor professional. To get started you'll need to add a website. So I'll click on the plus button and I'm going to put in our website which is wsitebuilder.com okay. and I'll add another one. Um, you can ha have HTTP and HTTPS sites I'm going to put Google in for this one. Uh, so when you first add them, they will show up uh, yellow, and they've just gone green. Um, that means they've just been checked. I'm just going to add another website. That's a website on my local machine, and I'll add another one. If you want to delete a website, simply select the website and press the delete button here. And that's got rid of it, I'm just going to put that back again. Now when you first start the program up it will automatically start scanning um, you can stop the scanning process at any time by pressing the stop scanning button and you can restart it by pressing the start scanning button you want to see what uh, the system has been doing uh, you can ch check in the lock if you click on the lock here and it shows you um, when scans are started and completed. I'm just going to talk about um, configuration settings. Um, under scan configuration you can set the time between scans, scan delay, um, the a number of seconds that it'll try to contact a website before it gives up, which is the request timeout. The number of times you want to retry, just in case the first time fails, you can retry. Uh, and uh, the number of seconds between uh, retries. Um, you can add your own personal alarm um, file uh, or um, you can use the, the one that's included with the uh, distribution. If you just press play when you've added it, then um, you can hear what it sounds like. Uh, now that, that file will play in a leap um, depending on how long you're, um, you set your alarm to go off for. Uh, you could disable the alarm um, by clicking here. Uh, you can set a time in seconds that the alarm will run f run for before it automatically shuts down. Um, if you want the program to start when you start your machine up, uh, put a tick on execute on startup. Under the SMS configuration, you can configure um, website monitor to uh, send an SMS to you uh, when uh, one or more websites go down. Um, by default it'll list the first three sites um, that um, that have gone down. Um, now um, we're processing um, our SMS's through a company called Text Local. If you click on the link uh, then that will take you through to their website. Um, you need to tick SMS, send SMS on failure um, and you'll need to provide uh, the details that you get from the text local website. Um, so that covers the uh, configuration. Okay, I'm just going to demonstrate what happens uh, when there is a failure. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to su shut down my um, local web server. So. Um, my uh, website's WSite Builder and PHP my admin will sh will go down um, so I'm just going to shut that down now Beep. 
Now, there is a, a progress bar at the bottom of the screen. As you can see, uh, two of those two websites went down and it set off the alarm. Now, when, when the alarm is set off, um, well, when there are any errors, then uh, it will automatically switch to the show errors view. Um, you've got two views. You've got um, successful scans uh, on the green button here and uh, failed uh, scans on um, this button here. Um, and if you want to see both together, then you can press the, uh, the grid button there. Um, I'm just going to show you um, the history. Uh, when a website goes down, uh, it creates a, 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 a log in the history uh, table uh, when the system went down. And when it comes back up, it'll, it'll update the update time there. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn my web server back on again. Okay, those sites have gone green now. So if I just show you the history record now, um, it's recorded the time that it came back up and the number of seconds and minutes that it was down, and um, what the the problem was, the uh, the message, and the status code. Um, that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.